Generally speaking, man is not a solitary creature. He is by nature a herd animal, and this instinct shows itself in the many complicated group activities he has devised. Today, I'm asking people whether they prefer to do things in a crowd or to go it alone. <laughs> oh, hello, Honky Tonk. How are you? Very well, thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Do you believe that man needs the company of his fellows? Oh, yeah, I'm all for that. 100%. 100%. You believe that the friendship of man is something to be treasured? Oh, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> you that men and women should live together in harmony? Oh, now you're going to spoil it all. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Do you like doing things with people? No. I like doing people with feet. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. Miss. Uh, miss. May I ask, do you lead an active social life? No, I don't. Not like the people in the flat above mine. I have wild parties every weekend. <laughs> Drinking and dancing and all sorts of wicked debauchery goes on. <laughs> Keeps me awake all night, they do. Well, haven't you complained to them? Yes, I have, but they still won't invite me. <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, well, I... Can't uh, we have a wild I... party together? Pardon me, sir? Yes. Uh, tell me, do you find it easy to mingle with your fellow men? No. I find it very difficult to get close to people. Uh, why is that? I'm in charge of the skunk house at the zoo. <laughs> Anyway, you see, you don't like me either. <laughs> oh, now, here's a girl guide. Hello. Hello, my dear. Tell me, do you enjoy the guide movement? Oh, yes. I taught it to a boy scout, and he enjoyed it too. <laughs> Excuse me, Vicar. Oh, yes, your boy. Tell me, sir, as a man of cloth, do you think that people these days meet and mingle in friendship sufficiently? Oh, no, I do not know. One should rely on the precepts of the good book, you know. Do unto others, love thy neighbor. There are only two things in this world that I rarely abhor. And they are <laughs> religious intolerance and those flaming Methodists. <laughs> Here's a charming young lady. Hello. Hello, miss. May I ask you, do you lead a very active social life? Oh, yes. My boyfriend says I'm never available. I have so many hobbies and I belong to so many societies. Well, hasn't he ever asked you to drop them? <laughs> well, if you did, he'd see a lot more of you. Oh, you are awful. I like you. <laughs> Well, there you are, just a few people's opinions. But one thing is sure, like it or not, from the cradle to the grave, we just can't escape the company of others. You want an old man, you? I'm not staying here. You'll do as you're told, Master Rupert. You'll stay in and enjoy your dancing lessons, otherwise I'll break your aristocratic little neck. Oh, kick him in the shins, old fatty. You wouldn't dare. for that kid, I promise you. <laughs> oh, my leg. What you need to handle him is a few lessons in child psychology. Substitute karate lessons in, I'll smear him all over the nursery. <laughs> Ivy, I'm surprised at you. I mean, after all, he's only a little boy of seven. If I had my way, he'd never reach eight. <laughs> Good man to chuck his fags away. <laughs> Do say some terrible things. Mm, well, how's your little Laura anyway? If you mean my Daphne, she's very well, thank you. Still as spotty as ever. <laughs> Do you mean? Last time I saw her, she looked like a slab of fruit cake. <laughs> You're cruel. That's what you are. Cruel. Why you ever became a nanny, I'll never know. Because I couldn't get in the Marines. <laughs> Your lot been at it again, have they? Mrs. Kirby Muxlow is expecting, if that's what you mean. That man wants seeing too. 
I know he's an MP, but it's a crafty way of making sure of a majority, isn't it? <laughs> well, there can't be too many for me. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you are. Wouldn't happen in my household. Oh? Every morning I pop a pill in her porridge. <laughs> nanny? 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 <laughs> Sounds like a farmer sexting a herd of goats. <laughs> I think. What? Talking about, um, S-E-X. Yes. You were going a bit strong with that guardsman up St James's Park the other day, weren't you? What do you mean? Oh, you know, down by the lake. Oh, yes, I remember, yes. Rupert was firing his air gun at the ducks, wasn't he, yes? Fancy <laughs> holding that soldier's hand like that in public. Well, if I hadn't been holding his hand, you'd have something to complain about. <laughs> <laughs> well, any minute now, I'll be lumbered with that Rupert thing again. Oh, I think it's time for Nanny's perks. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy a slug? No, I do not. And how you can drink that stuff at half past three in the afternoon, I don't know. Same way as I can at half past four, love. <laughs> I see you've been helping yourself from your employer's wine cabinet again, then? The answer to that bitchy remark is certainly. Mm. He'll catch you at it one of these days. He's already tried. He's oh. been marking the label with a pencil. There. <laughs> well, get out of that, then. I did. I steamed it off and stuck it on lower down. <laughs> Well, you're wicked. That's what you are. Downright wicked. Oh. You're a disgrace to nannyhood. Oh, Ark, who's talking? Oh, I may like a little tipple, but I don't spend all my time in the greenhouse with the gardener. Oh, that's a nasty, malicious lie. And from what I've heard, it's not only his dahlias he likes to bed down. <laughs> <laughs> what a trick! thing to say. Well, you started it. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh. Hello, Mr. Beasley. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Who is it? Shh, shh, shh. Quiet. Lovely. <laughs> Have you come to pick up Master Timothy, Mr. Beasley? Yes, that's right. Oh. <laughs> So lovely. I'll be back it in. Oh, I could buy him a brown ale any time. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Is he, is he, ma is he, ma is he, is he married? What? <laughs> is he married? No. no. Oh, it's a lovely day, Mr. Delicious. Uh, Mr. Business. <laughs> yes, it certainly is. As a matter of fact, when I'd taken young Timothy home, I thought I'd take a spin in the rolls for a couple of hours. Oh, how nice. Oh, super duper. <laughs> I don't suppose... Yes. yes? Either of you ladies would like to come along for the ride? Oh, no, I I've got to do nursery teas. Oh, mm. I've got to take mine to get his hair cut. <laughs> I wish it was his throat. <laughs> Pity. Quickly, which one of you is Rupert Nutley's nanny? I am. Come quickly, something dreadful's happened. Oh, has it? <laughs> <laughs> I say, how long does it take to saw through some wrought iron banisters? Quite a while, I should think. Oh, in that case, I can accept your invitation. <laughs> what about your Rupert? Bless him, he's got his fat little head stuck right through them. Come on now, we're going to... <laughs> of you in there. There's only six people allowed in this lift, including the operator, so one of you's got to get out. Who's it going to be then? You. <laughs> I've never heard of this so damn silly in my life. I'm absolutely sure about this, Wing Commander. 
I mean, his club secretary, you ought to know. I'm afraid there's absolutely no doubt about it, Sir George. I've looked up all the old club records and it states quite categorically that the owner of Hadlow Farm has the right to graze his animals on our golf course. You see, the previous owners of the farm have always been gentlemen farmers and members of the club. So, naturally, the problem's never arisen before. Oh, yes, of course. It was old Bertie Upland's place, wasn't it? Damn selfish of him to kick the bucket and put us in this position. <laughs> the thing is, what are we going to do about it? The course will be absolutely ruined. Well, gentlemen, it seems to me the obvious solution is to invite the new owner of Hadlow Farm to become a member of the club. Now, that's damn good thinking, Winker. Thanks. But we can't let any old riffraff in. Well, it's either that or cows all over the course. And you realise what that means? Huh? Damn things aren't housebroken, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't thought of that. And away she goes like a dirty old rooster out for a young end. <laughs> but who the devil are you, son? How dare you come thundering into this club? All right, matey, all right. Keep your hair on. Just look what you've done to that window. Well, if you will leave your little white balls hanging about, somebody's bound to come along. <laughs> you stupid oaf! Get out of here at once before I have you thrown out. All right, Sonny, don't get your innards in a twist. I only came along here. I only came along here to tell you who's ever in charge to leave the gate open tonight because I'm driving my cows in in the morning. Ah. Uh, uh, excuse me, but um, are you uh, are you from Hadlow Farm? That's right, yes. Moved in day four yesterday. Oh, uh, my dear, dear chap. How very, very nice to meet you. Somebody else come in there? <laughs> <laughs> do please come over and meet everybody. Oh, ah. This is our captain, Colonel Crockham Hill. How do you? How do you do? Brigadier Sir George Dunton Green. How do you do? And I'm the secretary, Wing Commander Codsell. Oh, boy, crikey, be all right if you wanted to start a war, would he? <laughs> <laughs> and whom have we the pleasure of addressing? Oh, Lance Corporal Freddy. Frinton, that's my name. <laughs> yes, 40 second mobile bath unit. <laughs> and just before you say I smell as all I could do with one, that's the pigs. <laughs> and I'm letting them in the morning too. Ah, uh, well, now that's something we'd rather like to talk to you about. Oh? Winko, fetch a round of drinks, oh, will you? Oh. Now, Mr. Britton, come and sit down. Oh, ah, I could do with a wet. <laughs> <laughs> Secretary, now look here. It's not good enough. I played a jolly good shot on the 18th, and some idiot came along and whacked it out of sight with a walking stick. Uh, my God, there he is. Now look here, you rotter. Where's my ball? Petworth! How dare you speak to this gentleman like that? I mean, if you're stupid enough to leave your blasted ball lying around on the fairway, uh, somebody's bound to come along and give it a crack with a stick. Uh, and another thing, if you come in here mouthing abuse at people, you'll very likely be asked to resign. Oh, I'm sorry, Captain. I don't know what to say. Yes, I, I, I did leave it on the fairway. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll have a drink. Well, here we are. Drinks all round and a nice large scotch, Ooh. Mr. Flinton. Ooh, ah. <laughs> there we are. Well, as the ball said to the cow, brace yourself, I'm after a bit of the udder. <laughs> Did you get it? No. Neither did the bull. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, very good. That's very, very good. Yes. <laughs> now, tell me, Mr. Fritton, do you play the royal and ancient game? No, no, no. Not since the wife caught me in the eye loft with the dairy mate. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I think the captain was referring to the game of golf. Yes, yes. I mean the way you hit that ball through that window. Oh, wow. I'd say you were a natural, wouldn't ah. you, George? A natural what? Yes. <laughs> Give me that stick. Certainly, Captain. Thanks. Now, come along, Freddy, old man, if oh, I may. Oh, certainly, her. You stand there. Huh? Now, I'd like to see you swing. Oh, so would I. <laughs> oh, right. How's that? I say, chaps, look at that action. Isn't it magnificent? <laughs> Amazing. Reminds me of Palmer. Arnold or Lily? <laughs> Seriously. Why don't you take a full swing? Oh, ha! Ah, full swing. All right, 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 right. Wait, <laughs> 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 uh, Craig, I might not be able to play golf, but I can't have break glass. <laughs> you! Cows, you! George, cows. <laughs> you swung beautifully. Oh, ah! <laughs> yeah, I the trophies! <laughs> not that they're of any importance. Oh, here. Here, what's this then? What's uh, that? Huh? Oh, that's, uh, is the putter. 
presented to this club by one of our past captains, oh. the late King Edward VII. Oh, is that a fact? Ah. It's extremely valuable. That's one of the early hickory shafted mm. clubs. Oh, no, that bain't no hickory. I can assure you that it is. That bain't not no hickory. <laughs> no, no, that bain't not no hickory. That, that bain't... No, no. <laughs> that is hickory. <laughs> that gave me a good laugh, that didn't it? Uh, you seem to be a fairly decent sort of chap. Oh, uh, how would you like to become a member of this club? Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, it's a pretty fancy sort of place for a plain fella like I. Oh, nonsense. We'd simply love to have you. Oh, I can't believe it. I don't believe it. Uh, he, he can't believe how lucky we are. Oh, well, I, I mean, no, you, it's very nice of you, you know, but I mean, how, how, how much is it going to cost me? Like? Oh, well, I think, Mr Captain, an honorary life membership would be in order, don't you? Certainly. There you are, a boy. It won't cost you a penny. Oh. Come on, Sir George, you propose it. No. No, 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 no. Oh, that was very good. It's like a daisy bell. That was very nice. <laughs> Oh, there we are. Seconded. Oh. Passed by committee. Congratulations, old oh, boy. You're a member. Good. Well, now me and my mates can come up here and have a proper booze up. <laughs> Pretty you ain't got a dark old though, not it? Oh, <laughs> what a good idea. Now, Mr Secretary, do make a note of that. Well, well now, fellow members, it's very nice of you, but I've got to be getting along now, you know. But now that you're one of us, Freddy, old boy, I take it there's no question of grazing your cows on the course? Oh, I don't know about that. You'll have to take that up with Mr Potter. Mr Potter? He's a fellow who owns a farm, you see. I'm owner of the flaming cow <laughs> child. Oh, it's a thin end of the wedge. What is, Dad? You're trying to get rid of me. Now, don't go on, Dad. Yes, I bet you've lit my little room already, and that layabout husband of yours is flogging all my bits and pieces. Don't be silly. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, you won't get me post office book because I've got it here in my pocket. Yeah. Nobody's after your pension, yeah. Dad. Pretty I wasn't an horse. You can take me down to the necker's yard. <laughs> suggesting is that you spend a pleasant evening here at the Darby and Joan Club. Darby and Joan Club. I just want you to get out and meet a few people of your own age, that's all. And pray may I inquire what is wrong with the lads down at the... <laughs> <laughs> they are just a bunch of loud-mouthed, beer-swilling old men who think about nothing but darts and horse racing. That's a fine way to talk about your own father. <laughs> now, look here, Dad. I don't want to get into an argument. Are you going in there or are you not? No, I am not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I won't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, hello, Miss Possil. Hello, Mrs. Palmer. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> and who have we here? Uh, this is my father, Mr. Lampwick. <sighs> Jolly D, another derby to keep our Jones happy, eh? <laughs> They'll be lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty years ago, I'd have marked all their cards. <laughs> well, I'll be leaving you now, Dad. Have a nice time. ta -da. I bet you by the time I get home, they'd have sold it. <laughs> Come along now. Let's take our things off, shall we? Well, I'm game if you are, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. There we are. Yes. I say, if we're going any further, I think I ought to warn you, I haven't got me comms on. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, the first thing... The very first thing is to find you someone to talk to. Oh, yeah. Now, this is Mr Goodmay. It's his jolly good fun. He'll keep you in fits. He looks as if he's already had one. <laughs> <laughs> now... You two settle down for a good old chin wag while I pop off and fetch you a cup of tea. I would like a ginger nut. One or two? Only one, the excitement of killing. <laughs> <laughs> I race pigeons, you know. Go on. You ever beaten one? <laughs> they um, lay little blue eggs. Lay little blue eggs, do they? What do you expect, licorice all sorts? 
I have one called Susie. If I let her out in here and here, she would fly off straight down to Portsmouth. Yeah, well, I had a sister like that once. <laughs> It's a, pity, old... uh, it's a pity she didn't lay little blue eggs and all. <laughs> I was an old contemptible. So was I. I was on the Somme. So was I. I spoke to Lord Kitchener. I bet you haven't got an inside laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are bearing goodies. Biscuits for Mr Goodmayes and a nice cup of tea for Mr Lampwick. Yes, we'll give it to him. He can dip, dip his gym to knock in it. I'm off. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't have that. No, no, no. Look, what? I want to introduce yes, you to I... a very nice lady. Yes, I, I... Now, Mrs Kent, I want you to welcome a new member. It's his very first time here. Come along now, everybody. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> James. James Lampwick. Yes, that's my name. How did you... Go, oh, blimey. <laughs> Nellie Plumpton. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been? Oh, it must be all of 50 years. Oh, blimey, do you know you haven't changed a bit? Oh, <laughs> you go on with you. You're just the same old Jimmy. Always the, the blarney. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> Who'd have thought, eh? Only seems like yesterday you and I were walking out together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mrs Kent, she called you. Mm, yes. That's right. But I'm a widow now. Oh, yes. Well, so am I. You know, I'm, I'm on my own. Oh. Yes. Here, Here do, do you, you remem remember? <laughs> <laughs> now, you first. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was thinking how my old dad used to go on at you for keeping me out so late. Oh, yes. A proper old tartar he was, wasn't he? Mm. <laughs> 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 do you remember, do you remember when he, uh, when he locked you in your bedroom? Oh, yes. yes. You were going to take me to the music hall, That's right, you? yes, yeah. yes. Of course, cool. I had some shows in them days, some oh. wonderful turns. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that one that went, a uh, she? A my, a lady, lady lad. <laughs> <laughs> Not like nowadays. Them youngsters with hair all over the place, wriggling and squirming. <laughs> In the old days, I'd have chucked a bucket of cold water over them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Now, where were we? Your, uh, your dad had locked you in your bedroom. That's right. But what did I do? Oh, what did you do? Yes. You pulled up the railings at the front of our house. Oh, that's right, oh, yes. Oh, you was ever so strong in those days, Jimmy. Yes, I was, wasn't I? Oh. Eh? And I remember I propped the railings up against the house like a ladder and up I went. Yeah. <laughs> and that's when you broke your leg. Yes, some silly idiot had left the gate open. <laughs> <laughs> My mum was ever so upset. Your mum was upset? Oh, oh. yes. Well, bless her. How, how is the old lady? Oh, she passed over years ago, love. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, well, my old dad would be very sorry to hear that. He's not here still, is he? Oh, no, no. Oh, no. No, no. He's in Canada. <laughs> Oh, well, it is nice to see you again yes. after all these years, Jimmy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I tell you what, why don't you come down to the Fox and Duck and have a drink with the lads and me, eh? Oh, I don't think I ought yes, to. Yes, go on. <laughs> I'd like to show you off to the boys, eh? <laughs> now, if I remember rightly, it's a port and lemon. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh Jimmy, <laughs> you could always talk me yes, into anything. Yes, I know. Well, come along then. <laughs> Oi, Birdman, you fancy coming down to the pub for a drink? Oh, no, no. Oh, hello, then. Hey, Jeb, we're going down to the pub. Oh, Come on, yeah. and bring Amy. Where are you after? Oh, boys and girls, it's drink. time for bingo! Bingo time! Where are they all going? Oh, we're just going to slip down to the local for a quick one, Miss P. Why don't you, uh, loosen your stays and join us? <laughs> Where are the boys? Do you know? Yes? I think that's a jolly good idea! <laughs> <laughs> Lampwick. Yes. You're a very wicked old man. Yes. Well, a couple of weeks here and I'll take years off this lot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, darling. <laughs> oh, 
And so, in conclusion, I can only say to you that the problem <laughs> that we have discussed can only be solved by the Canine Protection Society. And I urge you all to join us in a fight <laughs> to improve the lot of our doggy friends. I thank you. Any questions? <laughs> Come here, Walt. Put your bag down there. Let's have a cut, sir. I must say, Bert, it's very nice of you to invite me down for the weekend. Oh, I told you to do your power of good. How you can stick living in London is beyond me. Yeah, just get on your wick a bit. Yeah, sit down and relax, mate. Oh, ta. All right. <laughs> oh, ah, that's nice. <laughs> it's a bit of a journey to get down here, isn't it, Bert? Yeah, well, you don't know the route like I do. Do you know I can do it in four and a half hours? Can you really? Yeah, you look through that window there. Now, you wouldn't think that we were 50 miles from Hyde Park Corner, would you? <laughs> you like living in the country, then? Like it. Away from the noise and the people crammed shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> I promise you, Wall, a couple of days down here and you'll be a new man. Well, it's been a new life for us down here in the peace and quiet of the countryside. <laughs> but, yeah? Does Edna and the kids like it? Oh, yes, they take to it like a duck takes the water. And you wouldn't believe what it's done for Edna's dandruff. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look. Yeah. Who's this? Hang on. Oh, that's my youngest, Doreen. Say hello to your Uncle Walt, Doreen. Hello. <laughs> yeah. They're going a bit strong, aren't they? Well, it's the air down here, you know. <laughs> and the piece of contentment brings them on a bundle. <laughs> I bet the lads won't half go after her when she's 15. <laughs> Just our gallant lads in blue from the local RES station. Well, they don't half fly low, don't they? <laughs> no, they don't. Well, yes, they do, but they're very decent about it, you know. Regulars clockwork every morning they bring back the TV aerial. <laughs> you know, you piano practice before you go out to play? Edna, Wall's here. Oh, hello, Wall. <laughs> hello, Edna. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I enjoyed our little get-together this week and I, I'm looking forward to getting together with you next week. Good night. Super. <laughs>